Here you see how it works. This is the intestinal tract. And this is the and this is the blood. Those are the three main components when it comes to regulating cholesterol through soluble fiber. This is the ball represents fat from our diet. Now fat has to be digested in our intestinal tract. How does it do that? It uses bile acids. Bile acids are the component that is made by the liver to help digesting fat. And bile acids are made from cholesterol. Building block of bile acids. So bile acids are made by the liver. The cholesterol takes liver from the blood, makes it into bile acids, and then the bile acids go into the intestinal tract and digest the fat. You see the fat is gone. What happens when it's done, the cholesterol and the bile acids go back into the bloodstream. So there is an efficient recycling going on of cholesterol in the body. That's the normal situation. Now imagine taking Bioslife. Bioslife is a drink. It's a product you mix with water. And the best time to do it is before your meal. What happens? Before your meal, fiber comes into your system and it forms a gel. And that gel intestinal tract represented Fat comes. Bile acids are being produced, digest the fat, but now they are stuck in the fiber matrix. And when you go to the restroom, call it bio life, <laughs> you uh, take out the cholesterol from your system. The recycling process is broken. You see how elegant cholesterol is lowered? By taking bio life before your meal, you're going to form this shell, cholesterol is going to be taken out. A very elegant process. But it's only one mechanism. We have more mechanisms in our body, in our product biocide, to deal with high cholesterol. What's the second mechanism? The second mechanism comes from this plant. Who knows the plant? Soy, indeed. Soy. Soy and sunflowers. Soybean oil and sunflower oil, they have a specific component inside them. And those components are called Phytosterols are called phytosterols because they are from plants, phyto, plants. Sterols is a class of components called sterols. And cholesterol is also a sterol, cholesterol. These are sterols from plants. Here you see the major sterol from plants called, in this case, beta-acetosterol. Now, if you're not an organic chemist, and most of you probably will not be, maybe some of you are, you see the structure of phytosterol here. You see the structure of cholesterol here. And you see the difference. The difference is very small, but it's there. The difference is here. Here you see a little difference. But the rest is all the same. And that's the key to the mechanism of phytosterols. Our body also thinks they almost look the same. Here's what happens. 25% of all cholesterol comes from the diet. Here you see cholesterol coming from the diet. Our body has on the inside of our intestinal tract proteins that we call receptors. And receptors you can think of as a molecule with a hand. And the hand recognizes the structure of the cholesterol. And it picks it up and pulls it into the bloodstream. That's the normal situation. Now imagine taking BioSlife with the phytosterols. The phytosterols look a little bit like cholesterol, so I call it the green. Mm. The hand thinks it's real cholesterol, so it also picks it up. But because it's not exactly the same, it cannot pull it into the bloodstream. And when the real cholesterol comes from the diet, those hands are occupied with the phytosterols. You see, real cholesterol coming in, it cannot be anymore because the hand is already occupied. I think that's a very mechanism of lowering cholesterol. This mechanism too, and studies with this mechanism was reduced about five to percent only with this mechanism. But with bias life, it's only one of the mechanisms. What's the third? The third mechanism comes from this plant, sugarcane. Now I know there's also sugarcane growing here in the in Singapore and Malaysia, but this is sugarcane from Cuba. It's a very special location 
of growing sugarcane. Why? Because it's very rich in a certain phytonutrient. And that phytonutrient is called polycosanol. And polycosanol has unique properties when it comes to lowering cholesterol. Let me show you why. 70%, 75% of all cholesterol in the body is coming from our own liver production. What happens with polycosanol? Polycosanol has a little, is a little properties, goes through the liver, and when it is at the liver, it effectively inhibits, slows down the production of cholesterol. So there's still cholesterol being produced, but it's just a lot slower. So cholesterol is lower in a third way. Again, many studies have shown that this polycosinol can lower cholesterol. With us, it's only one mechanism. We have a fourth mechanism. Mechanism. Presentum. Presentum and more important, the kind of presentum. Maybe you've never had the idea of eating chrysanthemum, but I know some of you drink tea of chrysanthemum, right? Chrysanthemum tea is a very healthy tea. It has been known for centuries that it's very good for eye health or immune stimulation and some forms of cancer prevention even. What was not known until now is that chrysanthemum is also very effective to treat high cholesterol. And that was a discovery of the Unicity Research and Development Network. How does it work? Cholesterol goes through the body, and because it is a part of many other functions in the body, it has to be converted into other molecules. And that conversion of cholesterol is done by enzymes. And the ingredient in chrysanthemum aurifolium has been shown by our research to promote the conversion of cholesterol into other components, for example, biopsids. So that is how cholesterol is lowered. Cholesterol is being converted. Now you know the four mechanisms. Let me recap the mechanisms. One, soluble fiber, to prevent reabsorption of cholesterol through bile acids. Two, phytosterols from soybean oil and sunflower oil. It prevents the absorption of cholesterol from our diet. Three, sugarcane, <coughs> polyposanol, inhibits cholesterol synthesis in the liver. Four, chrysanthemum speeds up the conversion of cholesterol into biocids. Four unique mechanisms, all present in bias life, all working towards that single goal, lowering cholesterol. That's why bias life is so effective. We mix all the ingredients together in a good manufacturing uh, process facility. We dry it, we make the particles big enough so that they dissolve well, and then we fill the canister or paquettes to bring it fresh to you. Now this is a very important slide. This is an orange. Why do I show you an orange? We show you an orange because we've made a very important discovery.